guys welcome to another vlog and as you can see I've just woke up sorry about the state of my room by the way um I'm gonna tidy it before we go out but we are actually gonna be going to London today to have a little bit of a mooch and also to see our collection in real life if you're not sure what I'm talking about you will see later on in the video it's very exciting for us um i've still got morning voice as you can tell but yeah i'm gonna get ready we're literally gonna go out in like less than an hour so hopefully that's enough time i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm gonna have some breakfast and yeah it's just gonna be a nice vlog we've missed vlogging we've not vlogged in what feels like ages um so yeah hope you enjoy and let us know if you want more vlogs um, my phone is really playing up today. My hair is such a weird colour at the moment. I think in some lights I'm like really warm, like almost a strawberry blonde. But I don't mind it. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it today because I slept in it overnight and it's just gone curly whirly. Also, I am so pale. I'm about to jump in the shower but I actually just had a new Estrid parcel arrive and I thought I'd show you. I love these razors so, so much. Honestly, they are amazing. I have two in my shower already. One that I use, one that my mum uses, and it's literally the best shaver. Razor? Shaver. Razor. Razor that I've ever used. It's such a close shave, and without cutting yourself, which I used to be guilty of, but it's so nice, and it comes in such cute colours. So let me show you. It's really, like, about female empowerment which we are all about on our channel so this is the cute packaging it comes in this has like some cute words that mood leave me alone it's seriously i've been waiting for this it's the razor in here you can actually sign up to get different razor heads delivered as an example you can have these delivered which are literally just fresh heads and you can just keep the handle and change the Razor head, so it's really handy. They come in very cute colours, very aesthetically pleasing. You can also get travel cases, so yeah, really travel friendly. They're all vegan and cruelty free, and the colours they come in are to die for. I really like the grey one, it's really simple, um, but also it's quite fun to have a pop of colour. There's loads of different colours, so I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out because. I really recommend them and my mum loves them too. Yeah, also you can get little wall holders, which is how mine are staying in the shower. And you literally, this just suctions to the wall, like that way. <laughs> and this is the wrong colour, but never mind, you can mix and match, I guess. And it just holds it like that. So yeah, looks so cute in your bathroom. And Christmas is coming up. Who doesn't like a fresh razor and like I said, the subscription company. So I'm gonna jump in the shower now because I'm definitely gonna be running late. <laughs> okay, I'm fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I need to show you my new favorite breakfast because it is elite. It is amazing. I actually look forward to it every day now. The other day I've run out of it and I have to run out and get it because it's honestly my new favorite. We need to try this. Shredded wheat, honey and nut cereal. So nice. Now I just put mine with strawberries and some milk. This is what it looks like, and this is the milk I use. Honestly, go and try it. Hi, everybody. So, unlike how I didn't have time to actually start vlogging this morning because. I was the one that actually suggested we leave the house at 10 day and who wasn't ready at 10 day? This gal. Always prepared. Um, no, I actually forgot that we actually said it the other day, but when you wash your hair and you need to dry, it actually takes ages. Oh yeah, I washed my hair this morning. I did mine last night. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't know, because I had a lot of time last night. <laughs> but we are on our way to Central. You know, we're doing a workout tonight. Yeah. Oh, because I washed my hair. Yeah. 
No, I'm thinking more that we had a, oh God, this hair. We had a PT session last night, yesterday, and I am in bits, and we are working out again tonight, so I don't really know how that's gonna work. We've so, got flats in today. Yeah, we're twinning today. Flat. And I'm wearing a roll neck from, I'm very wintry today. Primark, six pound, you need these. You see me in Marlboro, I've got one. This exact one? Yeah. Soft, yeah. Okay, good. This is old, but this is a coat from Primark. Uh, misguided. Leggings, these leggings are unbelievable. I'll show you more when I get out, but I've got them in black as well. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I wear them a lot, but they're so comfy. Zara. I didn't, no, you know, didn't put an eyeliner. Oh, do you know what? I thought you looked different. I look hideous. Oh my god, me without eyeliner is like going out without knickers on. Okay, we're in Topsford. Topsford? <laughs> what? <laughs> and oh, I don't know. I don't I have a feeling it might not be in here to be honest. Wait. There's Anna. We have to be careful, we might get told off filming in here. Oh my god! Oh my god! There we are! Guys, Yeah, girls are in Topshop, Oxford Street. No, what the hell? Oh my god, that is so weird. Oh my god! Is the whole collection here? So. If you want to come to London, Oxford Street, Top Shop, there's the phone cases, the pop sockets. Well, there's not many pop sockets there. The makeup bags. And I don't know if the jewellery is elsewhere, but we'll keep looking. But this is mad. Yeah, one Yeah, it different. Look, the way they chose, I wonder why they chose that pick. Oh my goodness! I just feel like standing there and going, excuse me, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. If you're wondering, yep, that's me. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! One of the peaks in our career. It's so cool. Wow, wow. We might just stay here all day and go. Yeah, we might just. Hi. Do you want to show one collection? So, guys, jewellery is not in Top Shop. So, we might trek to a skinny dip store and see the jewellery. Do you want to rebuy one of the necklaces? Because I gave it to Molly. <laughs> Dancing with ourselves in Topshop. While I'm popping, I just want to show you my bag. Wait. Oh, I would admit, it's a good purchase. Yeah, okay. This bag I got the other day, and I'm actually going to quickly tell you how I got it so cheap. So I saved like 20% on this bag. Um, I'm going to put the website in the description. It was called Louisa Via, Via Mora. Louisa Via Mora. And download their app and you get a discount. And this bag cost me like £400 less than it should be in like the UK. So this bag, it's a good time. Honestly, they don't kill me. The music here, by the way. I know, it's so good. Right. By the way, we took our masks off for our pictures. Just because, look. We're the only ones that clearly care about our collection and skinny dip. Rude. <laughs> but on to the next place. Here we are. Oh, yay, I need to put my umbrella down. Oh, oh no. Oh, I've got five minutes. Five minutes. We we'll have to wait. Okay, we are now in the skinny dip store in Carnaby Street. And here is the whole collection. Oh, and there she is, actually. I love this picture so much. Yeah. I'm glad they put this one in. And I think Sid's gonna buy 
Are you going to buy something? Yeah, I think this necklace. Supporting the cause? Yeah, I'm supporting the cause. Also, a little hack, the AirPods cases and the bracelet are sold out online, but they are... There's a few things that are sold out. The ring in store. The rings are sold out. Yeah, so if you don't... This is sold out and these are sold out. The store, yeah. then, I mean, you can't get them online and come into the store. Okay, we've done the skinny dipping tour. We've come into Starbucks. Oh, we've got some bits in Brandy Melville, oh, yeah. which we're a bit like, why is everything one size? We're 2020. It's actually mad. Like, this is obviously an American store and it's literally in Carnaby Street opposite Skinny Dip. So we just went in out of curiosity and their stuff's actually so cute. But yeah, one size and not even a big size. Yeah. Like, if it was a big size, then I'd get it. We're a bit torn about supporting it just because it's not really like, yeah. yeah. I just think 2020, like, have more than one size. One size. Even a few sizes is not a vibe, but anyway, we've got some bits anyway. Hopefully they fit. And we're in Starbucks. Yeah, because you can't re return and get a refund. Did you hear her? Oh, what she said within 14 days. No, you can exchange in the store within 14 days. That's so how they make their money. We're never going to come back to London again. <laughs> in the next 14 days. <gasps> we're back. Starbucks and we're trying the pumpkin spice latte again. I'm just not sure about it. We've had it cold. Oh, thank you. Okay. Wait, one's ready. Yeah, I think Which they're one? one. Ready. Let me grab yeah, them. So we had a pumpkin spice latte, an ice one. I don't know what happened for ice. A while ago, and obviously everyone raves about it. People who love all to love this again. drink than that. Um, and I. I did actually put my story like, you're all liars. <laughs> if you say this is nice, you're a con. No, I'm joking, I wasn't that dramatic. But um, we're gonna give it another go, but in hot, my auntie was like, try it hot, it's so much better. I'm still not convinced, but cheers. Nervous. Cheers, well, need, my love. I need to take the lid off, it'll be hot. Yeah, just cheers in. Wait, do you mean, I never think um, Starbucks and Costa do their drinks that hot. Also, I got vegan cookies. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's much better. Oh my god, it's really nice. Oh, it's not bad. And the vegan cream is well nice. Let's try it. Try it. Mm, vegan. How much is that cream? Oh, she's so. I'm trying to convert her to oat. Yeah, you know, it's like it's such a it's got a twang. Try man. Vegan. Not vegan. I think that's got a twang. I think you're dramatic. Mm. Okay then. Mm. How can it be disgusting gold but nice hot? I need to put this on Instagram because we hated it last time. What a time to be alive. Have it with cream though. I think the cream makes a dramatic difference, do you? Oh yeah, I do. Sid, look what I'm at. Elle, look what I'm at. She served us in skinny dip. Elle? 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 Oh my god, it's gone down here. I don't really know. Elle, Sid, look what, look. We are off to Stratford now. So this is what we we used to. Do. Oh, they do pods in here. Oh, I bet they do pumpkin ones out. No. Yeah. Why not? No. no. It's, a, it's a syrup, I think. Okay. Yeah. So when we used to come to London all the time, we'd always just venture back to Stratford, Westfield. Um, yeah. But I'm actually I need to do some jobs for Julie. Nan. Um. J. J. F. Four. Wait. I Why can't. are you shortening everything? J for J. Job for Jeannie. I'm not opening a company. <laughs> anyway, and then we're going to grab some lunch. But Girls, you like how you get these pods. Get them from Aldi because they're so much. Yeah, they're really good from Aldi. But I never looked at the price. How much are they? They're like pounds for 10. You're joking. Nan was going, I bet they're still not that cheap. These are five pounds for 10. That might, might be That's pounds. still good. I think the espresso is like 12 pounds. Really? 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are now at Stratford in our favourite place. Yeah, so sushi. We had two plans to go to Toss, you know the salad bar. Um it's actually closed. Shut so we have no choice but to go here after we go for our yeah. And now we literally come here not that long ago since COVID. But yeah. now you order it all and you're fine. It's actually really clever, wow. there's like a system. And this turns green when it's your food. How clever is that? 
Limited edition, okay. Sushi rolls, cucumber mackie. Gotcha. And Kalani playing. Proteins. Cheese. That's good. Nutrition. Calories. Try all do mine and then you order yours, yeah? Yeah. Um, I mean, you could just take anyone's. It's a mame. It's a mame, definitely. Oh, I don't know what I want. Look at this. That is a problem. Oh, my makeup. Um, but yeah, we're in Stratford and it's half one. We're gonna have some lunch. Probably have a little mooch. Go to get. Go to go the forest soon. Again? Yeah, I love that place. Still haven't been. So good. I would say you come, but it's for my anniversary. <laughs> That's rude. Hello. In there. Yeah. Um, this, if you've not been to the florist in Watford, Watford, which is still quite a drive for us, but it's so worth it. They have this thing called duck gyoza. Oh my god. Oh my god. So just gotta take some business calls. We actually just left Westfield to be quite. Oh, that was such a nice yawn. Uh, we we are over today. <laughs> today. It started so high. It started high. really high and then pew. You see, when I got that phone call, it just started to plummet from there. Yeah, that's I think the last it come clip. up. Did it come up? Yeah. We won't go into too much detail, but let's just say God is against us today. Not sure what we did to deserve it, but we keep it moving, we keep smiling, and we keep also, it positive. On this topic, we're actually winning Urban Outfitters. We always like to move. Is that the wrong bag? That's the wrong bag. We can okay. talk about that after, though. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we wanted to end this vlog on a positive note. So, we're going to show you what we got. Yeah. Because, come on. Because <laughs> we're trying to be positive people, and these books, like, we just felt like we needed them. Okay, not that one. That's a present. Present. Right, so. We actually got four books. No, well five including the present. Yeah. So two books. So they're yours. Thank you. And these are mine. So we're gonna talk to you for our books. If you've never been in Urban Outfitters, by the way, and looked at their little gifting section, there's like a little homeware section with gifts and stuff. So and sweet. And yeah, we was actually stood there for way too long. So we both loads of books. Yeah, we both actually saw these books first, which are um, that star sign book. Star sign book. So I got an Aries one because we were flicking through, and Sid actually had the Gemini one first. But you were like, "Do I need it?" No, but only because I picked up like three others. And yeah. I was like, but it's actually really interesting if you're into star signs. I know a lot of people are against it; they don't really believe in it, but we do. And even if it's just something to think about. It's really nice as like a little distraction from like the real world because it just has like things like your lucky day, your lucky colour, um, like personality traits and yeah, I thought it was just really cute. Oh, Sid, Aries and Gemini, air can oxygenate, oxi oxygenate fire so there can, there is an immediate compatibility between Aries, Dynamis, Dynamis, I can't speak today. Dynamism. Dynamism and Gemini as integrity in and because they both love to talk and because they I swear you shouldn't start a sentence with and that's one thing I remember yeah, from school same. and because they both love to talk they may compete for attention but will never bore each other I think that sounds that <laughs> sounds <laughs> about right guys that is mad oh my god you can literally see how you are compatible with every star sign so yeah it's just really cute like, I know, top tips for Aries not getting it but I can Aries sex that. life how interesting um so yeah got this really cute and I'm a sucker for a little novelty gift novelty that's what it these is these are so good for presents I think too. yeah definitely so mine actually summed me up as a really like depressed <laughs> um, okay I've got one too okay so we start with that one okay um I'm not gonna delve too deep because I feel like it could be another whole video us talking to about be it. Fair, and to be yeah, fair, you can see how you get on. We've touched on it before, um, and I think we said we'd do a video on it. And actually, a really lovely girl um, messaged me before on Instagram called Self Love Live. Yes, I, I know who she is. And she, she honestly, I said to her like no strings attached like we should do she, i don't think she does youtube but she's like a self-love ab advocate is that mm. the word she is one of the nicest babes on the planet 
she honestly messaged me all the time and she's like, I sense that you're down, like, if you want to talk, like, I'm here. Like, so never nice. met her, but she's genuinely so nice. And she's like, her bio says mental health positivity, like, just everything. And I was like, we should do a video, like, you need to be in our video, because she honestly... Teacher. Doesn't give a... And that's what our books are about. But anyway, talk about this one really quick. Um... I do feel like as I'm getting older, the anxiety levels grow. This is called Anxiety Happens. It's 52 ways to find peace of mind. And um, I had a little flick through in there because there's there's a lot of books that are kind of similar. So I guess it's just which ones you grab for. Yeah. Um, and I just feel like I read a section, didn't I? And it was just literally a step by step. Yeah. And it was like, sit down, close your eyes, and you need to, basically, I think it's so important, we say this to Molly all the time, don't we? Because Molly is very much, more so like me, I think, where we're like, oh, I'm stressed, but like, we don't know the root of the problem, and this mm. is how to like, and find not the issue. Even, not like to talk about it. Yeah, find the issue, and like, that, oh God, I've got so many I know. Find the issue and tackle it head on. <laughs> My eye. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of people, I mean, I don't think anyone is an anxiety expert, but it's just thinking about it and approaching different methods to see what works for you. And I think that'd be interesting because yeah, we've both had anxiety struggles and if you're lucky enough to not have ever experienced anxiety, then you're lucky. But, but even if you feel like you might have had it, because I think I probably had it for a few years, but I didn't really. The only time I ever heard the word anxiety was in the Kardashians. How bad is that? When they're oh, like, yeah. I get I, anxiety. I was going to say, I do think it is chucked around a lot. Yeah, and I don't think you, I think sometimes it's worth reading these because you're like, oh, maybe I have a bit of it and I can control yeah. it before it, like, before turns it into spirals, a big monster. Definitely. So yeah, I'm going to give that a go. I'll let you know, I guess keep up to date on our instagrams and we'll keep you posted as we read them and then we both got we both picked up this first and then i was like this one's really similar should we both read and then swap yeah so th i think this one's actually a bit more famous because i've seen that one floating around online for a long time but basically they are how to not give a beep about anything and i think as you get older obviously not saying we're like work we're old out and wise. Work. yeah obviously we're not saying we're like we know everything but i do think as you get older you just become a little bit more selfish and you you know how to tackle things like what's important what's not but i think this just puts things into perspective just like it literally has like a chart of like is it important is it actually going to affect you that much is it worth worrying about like just little things i do think as influencers you do end up becoming the queens of giving advice that you can't take as well i'm so good at being oh, yeah. like if it's not going to matter in five years stop worrying about it yeah and i sit there and i worry about it 100 percent. again these are like quite novelty but i do think it's quite nice to just sometimes look at things in a like a light-hearted way it's so sorry it's so sorry what it's so easy why did Sorry really easy social up? media <gasps> should you post this are you being an arsehole will someone be offended someone will always be offended post whatever you like I agree with that, but I don't agree with that in the sense of this could be but, for, like, bullies. Oh, no. Yeah, but are you being an asshole? Yes. No. Don't yeah, post it. Yeah. There we so, go. This needs to be framed yeah. and posted to a lot of people. Yeah. You know who you are. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be so Toxic sick. people. You may have <gasps> people around. List your friends, acquaintances, strangers, and related items you may or may not give a F about. If so, do you have any friends <laughs> left? <laughs> You may have people around you who just make life harder. They might constantly put you down or undermine you trying to control your decisions. You don't have room for people in your life like this. Get them gone. Yeah. Remove yeah. them. Yeah. I believe in that. If you know so meet someone and you follow them and then after you think, you know what, this they're just making me like feel crap about myself. Um, like they were a decent person but I'm probably never going to see them again don't worry don't worry if you're going to offend someone if it makes you feel better unfollow them mm. like it's just social media at the end of the day literally but yeah like we said it's a lot easier said than done I'm going to read these and even if it kind of I think these are good even if you escape from reality for like the half an hour That's that you I read mean. them at a time even if it's just a light hearted read and then it I makes you... got my boyfriend this one because I just feel like I love it the everything guide to investing in your 20s and 30s I know a lot of people out there are so like money business motivated um, who knows I might have a glance over this but I feel like that's very stereotypical I was going to say boys are very much into money I know my boyfriend literally lives and breathes and talks money so I know that's he good. will 
love this so yeah another book in case you wanted to see what we got today and all their books in there i don't know if you can we probably get all these on kindle which is probably stupid because i've got a kindle but they're like 12 13 pound all of them i love it areas, honestly we are gonna be oh, i can't wait till 20 i can't even tell how much i can't wait for 2021 trust i just honestly want to flip the page flip the switch flip the switch but you know we're that's me being negative again. Sorry. That anxiety book is coming out tonight. But yeah, we are actually going to just chill for a couple of hours. And then we're going to go work out, which I think will be good for us to Even end this day. Even just about walk. Even though I literally can't But I think we'll, be, we'll feel good. Um, tomorrow's a new day. Are we going to separate now, love? Or are you going to come into my home? It's up to you. Um, don't be embarrassed. Probably separate. Okay. <laughs> See, unless this is what you happens sometimes. Unless you we want do, we it. do part ways. It looks like we don't, but yeah. No, um, I'm just gonna go in and explain my day to Nan. Oh god, yeah. Maybe I should come in for it. I knew it. I need to listen in on the drama. Guys, we love you, and we will speak to you soon. Goodbye. Stay positive. <laughs>